Hello and welcome to another weekly update of my raising my miniature horse, Teddy Bear. Lately, now that he's a yearling, I'm not calling him Teddy Bear quite as much. I'm calling him mostly Teddy. And it was a very interesting week this week. Um, we, I came out to feed him in the morning and I found him loose. And of course I panicked. He was right nearby, but of course when the horses get loose, you don't know how long they've been out, how much grass they've eaten. But I don't believe he had been out long, but how he figured out, I don't know, we can't, my husband and I kept going over and over. We cannot figure out how he opened, got the chain um, open and how he got out. And here is the lock. Somehow, he got that part detached from the top part. I have never seen such a smart horse in my entire life. This is crazy. So I caught him. <laughs> he was very easy to catch and he suffered no ill effects, but we have since then super reinforced the chain on the gate. Um, he's just very smart. He has figured out other things. He, we call him now our little Houdini horse. And, um, I am filming right now without his UV mask on and without his UV fly sheet. That's another thing I wanted to show you. We did get him a UV fly sheet to help with the flies. He is also turning white. Um, he is definitely going to probably be a few spot. Here's a little close up clip of Teddy's coat, what it looks like right now. I'm gonna see if you can see it here. And I also did another close up section for you to see. Here's that little section. Here you can see how the white hair is starting to transition in and Teddy is slowly becoming less and less a bay or a chestnut. He is now transitioning into a, what I believe is going to be a few spot. You can see the white, which means he will be almost entirely white with some varnishing marks, perhaps some darker spots left behind, um, like his mother and father, the sire and dam, and you can see on his face he's still teething and wanting to chew on the line but you can see the white coming through there and you can see the white mixing in with the brownish color so he is transitioning and i'm noticing his tail is starting to transfer over and become white so teddy is definitely going through a change and he is turning more and more white and here you can see a front view of how he is going white on his back he's really experiencing a lot of color change right teddy right you want to say hi you want to say hi you want to say hi so that is uh the color he's going to end up being he is definitely turning white and he'll have maybe a little bit of uh brown on him the same color as his coat here um so we'll have to wait and see what it ends up being, but I do like to protect him. Our horses get a lot of sun. They have a shed they can go in and out of, but they like to be out in the sun. And I um, also got a second fly mask that covers, will cover Teddy's ears and his nose to protect him from sunburn and from other problems with the sun. The sun can sometimes cause melanoma on horses. And here is a little video clip of Teddy wearing his UV fly mask that protects his ears and his nose. And um, he doesn't seem to mind this at all. And I'm really pleased, as a little update on these fly masks. These are Equivisor Australia fly masks. And they are wonderful. They hold their shape. None of the horses, they don't get them off. And they're very protective. They protect the horse's eyes. They protect them from the UV, from the sun, protect them from the flies. If it's real windy from all the debris flying around in the air. Let me see if I can get on this side of him instead. But um, Teddy doesn't mind this mask at all. Now he doesn't have to have flies and nets chewing in his ears. And you can see, let me see if I can pick his head up while I'm filming. I'm gonna show you how the, come here buddy. This is the little nose piece, it protects his nose. And uh, I thought you'd like to see what that looked like. But I figured for when I'm videotaping, I like to take 
everything off so you can see what he's looking like right now. I do have also a clip of his new fly sheet. I thought I would show that to you. We had a lot of little things new this week. So here is his new fly sheet. It's a real nice one. It's made for minis. I like the way it attaches. It's the first time I put it on him. He doesn't seem to care one hoot about it. You can see it attaches with Velcro here, and this is like a belly band, not too tight. It goes around his chest, and then there are the straps that attach here on both sides. and covers the tail. Whoops, straps on this side. And uh, I just put this on him, and uh, he didn't seem to mind at all. No problem with it. It's just very, very warm today. The flies are horrible. I did fly spray him. I use a natural fly spray. And uh, anyway, Teddy's new UV fly sheet. And so I try to, especially it's been really, really hot lately. And I come out, I like to spend time with him every day. I do a little bit of groundwork and manners with him. And then I take him under, he has this one little maple tree that he loves. If you watched my short from this week, which I posted on Thursday, two days ago, um, you, you will see him playing under this maple tree. He just loves to go under there and he likes to go back and forth. He likes to chew a little bit on the leaves. And of course you have to be careful with leaves, with um, horses eating leaves. This time of year, not too much to worry about. These are green, but in the fall, there are certain leaves that are extremely toxic to horses that you would not want them to eat. One is a red maple and there are some others, but um, he just likes to go play under there. But that's my update for this week. If you'd like to follow my journey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed it, click the like button. And I hope to see you next week. And we'll see what new things Teddy does in the coming week. Um, I have a few ideas, so we will see. Take care and I'll see you at my next update. Bye bye for now. Yeah.